this is the food history of Hawaii since we are basing our project on the um, cuisine I wanted to give a little bit of background on the food so the Hawaiian cuisine is made up of a melting pot of multiple different cultures American Chinese Filipino Japanese Korean Portuguese and many other immigrants from different countries have all contributed to the Hawaiian cuisine. Americans brought over Spam, which is now a signature food in the Hawaiian culture. When plantation workers and later on surfers needed a nutritional lunch, they created what is now called a lunch plate. The language in Hawaii is called taro, which is pronounced kalo. Kalo is from, the, is from Southeast Asia and was brought over by the Polynesians, who first settled the islands. The Polynesians brought over more than just their language. They also brought yams, breadfruit, coconuts, and sugar cane. One of the staples is the kalo root, and a gruel called poi. Mist described the kalo root as the original ancestor to the Hawaiian people. Poi is considered a scared part of daily Hawaiian life, and when a bowl of it is found on the table, the spirit of Haloi is thought to be present. When the Europe Europeans came over, they brought sheep, goats, pigs, cows, melons, pumpkins, and onions. Don Francisco de Paula Martin from Spain was the first to bring over grapes for wine. He was also the first one to brew beer, plant coffee, and experiment with growing oranges, limes, beans, cabbages, potatoes, peaches, melons, corn, and lettuce. The Chinese brought over stir-fried cooking, sweet and sour sauces, and dim sum dishes. They added rice as a main staple, and Asian fish were brought over and added to local stock strains. Koreans brought over kimchi and barbecue pits to cook meat. They introduced a dish called bibab. It's rice with seasoned vegetables and eggs and seasoned, sorry. And then they brought over another dish called guchacheng. I'm sorry, I'm not pronouncing these right. Which is a condiment made from red chili, rice, soybeans, and salt. The Portuguese brought an emphasis on pork, tomatoes, and chili peppers. They also brought over a beehive oven, which was made to make sweet bread, known as po dois, and yeast donut donuts called masaldas. The Japanese brought over sa samachi, tofu, and soy sauce, and made tempura and noodle soups more popular, and they made rice the third largest crop grown on the islands. The Puerto Ricans brought thick soups, casseroles, and meat turnovers, and pastels. The Filipinos brought over vinegar and garlic dishes. They made their poi from breadfruit instead of taro. And people from Thailand and Vietnam brought over lemongrass, fish sauce, and gal... Galanga? I'm so sorry. I don't know how to pronounce most of these words. Thank you.